Hello everyone, and welcome back to RPG World. Uh, let's play another demo that I found on Steam. This time is the Necromancer Tale. Uh, it's another CRPG, isometric CRPG that I found it that have a demo, a free demo on Steam. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. From the start. Early career and skill are chosen through an interactive fiction. Abbreviated version of the interactive fiction, chapter 1. Followed by Homecoming, chapter 2, and the Spillbook, chapter 3. Oh. In the year of our Lord, 1701, the Republic of Venice went to war with the sovereign monarchy of Ralston. This war was over passage rights through the Adriatic Sea, though this point will rarely be brought up when the war is discussed by future historians. It was, like most wars, overstretched and too costly. Neither side could afford it, nor would they back down. Many lives were lost, and whatever the outcome, each nation would nurse its wounds for some time. The war raged on for six years, draining both countries' resources, but the Republic of Venice was older than Ralston and had deeper pockets. In a war of attrition, they would win, and both sides knew it. Surprise have a uh, voice acting already. Three generals from Ralston, two brothers and a close friend, came together to strategize, and came up with nothing. They would not win this war. In desperation, one reached out to a dark power and was told to make pilgrimage to Golgotha. With no other avenue, they spent one month sailing to the walls of Jerusalem, where they docked under cover of darkness. On the hill where the man named Jesus died, they met a figure, too old to identify Jesus. as man or woman. It offered them a book, an already ancient thing made of pale leathers and filled with symbols that hurt their eyes to look upon. The thing smiled as they took it, a smile made of too many teeth. Jesus Christ. Full of dread for what they had seen and what they were about to do, they sailed for another month to get home. Things had gone badly in the time they were away. Soon they would have to surrender, and Ralston would fall into decline, one it was unlikely to survive. Whatever doubt the men had about using the knowledge in that book, their mind was set now. They cast its pages open and chanted dark incantations. Mm -hmm. And lo, did the dead walk upon the earth that night. Undead sailors hauled themselves into the Venetian boats. Soldiers dragged themselves from battlefields and clawed up from shallow graves to drive the Venetians from the land. The war was won. The Venetians could not fight Ralston's impossible numbers. They surrendered, the book was shut, and the dead were dead once more. The book was destroyed, but the world had noticed. Ralston had dark magic, and no shame in using it. Many enemies, without and within, were born that day. 1711. Three years later, a child was born to one of the generals involved in unleashing the spell. Oh my god. A beautiful baby boy. 
a beautiful baby boy. And he has some kind of powers because of that? Oh, that's interesting. Christabel. Uh... A comet passed overhead that night, one that cycled between purple and green. Oh, man! Few saw it, but those that did walked away from their lives to explore more of the world before them. Look at here on the top left corner. You were born into wealth and status and had all you could wish for. But your parents never had another child, and your father was often preoccupied with his work. Your mother, distant, sickly and delirious, you heard another mother say. Hoffman, the family steward, raised you more than they. It was a lonely childhood. 1718. You are eight years old. You play with friends from school, two poorer boys, Diedrich and Flip. Your father disapproves. You play in the graveyard outside the city. Nobody goes there without an armed guard. But children do not care for such things. Children are small and fast and can outrun ghoul. At least when the sun is up. What is ghoul? One day, as you play, you hear a rustling coming from some trees. You all freeze. Then a stone whizzes out of the green and hits you on the head. You stare in disbelief, a slow trickle of blood running down your face, partially blocking sight from your left eye. Wow, I'm sure this decision will, will affect my stats here. You scan the tree line and spot Sophia. Uh, I think we'll increase my investigate. You scan the tree line and spot Sophia, a girl you recognize from school. She throws another stone at you, but you are ready and avoid it. Stay still! I need you to bleed enough for a ghoul to sniff you out! She calls out. I want to see them hunt! Uh... Why would you want to see a ghoul hunt me? A hunt anyone! She didn't answer that day, but she did end up becoming your friend. It was many years later, as an adult, when you learned a ghoul killed her mother, and she wanted to know how she died. She didn't say it, but something in how she told the story, perhaps simply in her telling of it, gave you the impression that she had gotten her wish. That night, you are woken by a scratching sound at your window. You lift yourself up on one arm and rub your eyes with the other. The scratching sound turns to a chipping one, and a moment later there is a muffled sound of glass breaking. A thin black arm reaches in then and unlatches the window. 
You know that arm. That kind of arm. A ghoul. Wow. You scream as it pulls the window open and pulls itself into the room. You've never been so close to one. Its face is like a man's, but gaunt and twisted into a sorrowful, angry expression. It lands on the floor of your room with a sickening thud, and as it stands, it ripples and twists in unnatural ways. You scramble away from it, hot tears streaming down your face as you continue to scream, your throat already sore. The door behind you swings open. Your father steps in. As he looks at the creature, his face is expressionless. He enters the room, sword in hand and faints to the left. As it lunges, he sidesteps to the right and slices downwards. The gore that sprays from the thing as it falls flicks onto your face. Your father looks down at you for a moment, then nods and leaves to make sure there are no others. The father was you one of the generals that the used the boot again. in the war. 1721. One morning, your mother comes to your school. She takes you out, even though classes are not finished. She says everything is okay, but you do not believe her. It's her appearance that gives her away. Investigate. That's good. She is normally so perfect, but her hair is out of place, her dress loose, her makeup faded. Man, it's amazing how you forge your, your character. She brings you around the town. First you stop to buy sugared apples, then she takes you shopping. New clothes, new books, new toys. A luggage trunk. She brings you to the castle, and with some whispered words and coins exchanged, the guard lets you into the grounds. You go to the pond and throw bread and watch fish pop their heads up to steal from the ducks. You walk the city walls, and the two of you take in the view. The sea to the west, the hills to the south, the forest to the east and north, and beyond the northern tree line, the road that leads to the capital. That, she tells you through teary eyes, is where you're going. I, you won't understand until you're older. Maybe not even then. You need more than I can give you. What? More than I can be. You protest, she cries. When she stops crying, she doesn't remember where you are, how you got there. A watchman brings you home. There, your father glares at you, oh. angry that you upset your mother, angry at your non-compliance. Hoffman brings you to your room to help you put your new clothes and books and toys into your new trunk. He tells you that she loves you, that this is for the best. A few days later, your carriage rides out of town. In your children's stories, events like this happen on rainy days, but today is sunny and clear-skied. As the carriage crests a hill, you can look back towards the city and see it all. The farms, the walls, the groves, the castle, the seas. Your home. How do you feel as you are taken away? Uh... I think I will choose to, I don't know what the hell will affect. Oh my God, man, I hurt. I hurt. A deep wound of betrayal. My parents are supposed to look after me, not discard me. 1722. A year has passed. More quickly than you might have expected. 
Winter's first snow falls lightly outside. You watch from your dorm and reflect on your time here. Oh my God. Uh, I think this one will increase my knowledge with the books. You are thankful for the library here. Two. Books have been your salvation. You look at the collection of books scattered around you now. Buried under them are the books your mother bought you over a year ago. Impressed you have read them song? many times. You miss her. Fuck. 1725. Your schooling is done now. Your time here is over. You spent much of this year deciding what to do next. Education. In the end, you decided to continue with education. You are unsure where this will lead you but you wanted a life of experimentation and discovery. This was more important to you than riches. Seventeen twenty-seven. You are nearly two years into your training now, and it goes largely as expected. You miss home, but the pangs grow less as time passes. One day, you learn that your class has been granted an audience with the great scientist Isaac Newton. Oh my God. When you enter his home in Hampshire, a young lady, his niece you later learn, brings you into the drawing room where he is having afternoon tea. A teacher and 11 students entered the room ahead of you and you could hear the great man welcoming them. As you entered, you noted he no longer had the flowing white locks you'd seen in paintings. He was bald, and his skin was sunken. Still, he composed himself well as he greeted the others. Then he came to you. He looked at you a moment, eyes wide and mouth bearing teeth. He pointed a bony finger at you and screeched. By the way, guys, uh... Secret word for the Discord giveaway, it's book. Yeah, a book. Who is this with whom death walks? Why have you taken the Reaper to me? My time is not nigh, and I shall not go. Be gone, Herald of the Death Angel. The old man continued to shriek at you going so far as to throw tea at you. You left. A classmate told you he took some calming down before he would continue with the talk and seemed hurried and distracted throughout. Word reached you a month later that Newton had died. It was peaceful, in his sleep, and said to be of natural complications in line with his deteriorating health. A few days later, a letter arrives telling you that a civil war of sorts has broken out in your homeland. A lich, a powerful undead sorcerer, has begun raising the dead and marches on the capital. So far its armies show no sign of moving out of Ralston, but Venetian and Habsburg forces are amassing on their respective borders to repel anything that tries to cross them. You spend the next year following the news as it comes, conflicting reports in newspapers and the occasional letter from home. Eventually, word reaches you that the Lich has been defeated, that its forces collapsed as the final blow was struck. Your father was at that battle, as was your uncle. You learn your uncle was wounded, but as well. Neither man died, 
though the same cannot be said for thousands of others in the country. Many times you think of your terrible meeting with Newton. You read up on his other work, his alchemical and eschatological studies, his scouring of the Bible for clues to the nature of existence, and cannot help but wonder what he had read that led him to see your nation's struggle in your face before a word of it had reached you. 1729. Your training complete, you land your first post. Uh... <clears throat> I think this will increase the analyze and investigate. An archaeological dig in Herculaneum hires you to help with the excavation. Herculaneum was buried alongside Pompeii when Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD. Found by chance in 1709, groups had been going there to dig what they could from the ash. You expect it to be delicate, to slow work. Different, everything will be but different. The men who hired you dig tirelessly and aggressively. When they find anything, they call you. Is it of value? If yes, it is kept. If not, they hurl it aside. They are looters. You are a looter. Yes! Yes, I am a looter. We love loot. I've been tricked like this. Fuck. I help as little as possible, lying to them about the value of items. Oh, man. I hope to come back someday with a real team and properly excavate this place. Shit. 1733. I lost one When you learned of your father's death, you were... At work. You were called into a private room, and the news was delivered to you by your superior. It was a small stone room, only one way out, and that was blocked by your supervisor. You were trapped in that terrible grey space, in more ways than one. Now, days later, your carriage crests the hills towards Marnes, the sun blasting off the red and yellow bricks and rippling off the blue sea beyond. You are almost home. Uh, how, home one. to bury a man I never really knew. And now never would. Wow, man. Oh, you can, uh... Man, it's, it's very low constitution. I'll put one point here. I think I will live like, like that. It's what I decided during this amazing story. That was so great. A young woman. Should we stop, sir? E yes.
Uh, hey there, good man. What has this young woman done to draw your attention? Is everything okay here? Yes. Apart from this pair of fools annoying me. Okay. Stay out of this. It is none of your business. Young woman, what's a hag? Whoa, there. Oh, that's my inventory, man. Wow, looks so cute, this. Welcome home, my lord. I trust your journey was a pleasant one. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Body your father. <laughs> to notice something. What is it, Hopeman? It has already happened. He was cremated and entombed yesterday. Oh. We did not receive word of your arrival, and your uncle hastened the event, as your mother's health has been understandably poor since the passing. I am sorry you found out this way. Oh, shit. Oh my god. If you wish to go inside to compose yourself, I shall follow along with the luggage. Oh, man. <laughs> I traveled all this way and they have already had the funeral. <laughs> you can rotate. I'll be on my way once I get my coin. What's all that strange encounter we get outside the city? I don't ask questions, and neither should you. Okay.
can take water. Okay, with control, uh, you highlight things around you. Jumping into the sea from here. Dietrich and flip. Pick all man. I pick all 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 wait. I think here and here a torch, right? Possessions. The crate of my father was precious wine. Why are these paintings on the wall? Can I help you, my lord? Uh, your letter didn't mention how my father died. He was found dead in a bush. The smell of alcohol strong of him, I don't believe that. The herbalist Helen performed the autopsy and said it was fatal of the first. The herbalist. This city have no doctors. Why the herbalist? Why not a surgeon? Drunk in a bush. It's around the back of the house. Okay, who found him? The groundskeeper. Nikos is not here. He no longer works for the family. Why not? Oh, financial affairs are unstable. Tell me about these financial issues.
Uh, I have not seen the rest of the house sad. I, I don't think they have anyone, 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 anymore. Uh, why was the funeral so soon after his death? There was no word that you you'll arrive, and your uncle was worried that the I think that uncle is something wrong with him. The shroud. What the fuck is the shroud? Uh huh. Hmm. Did he have the ability to raise the dead? I will go to hunt that guy and I will be a necromancer for sure. Anyway, very intriguing. The story is too far great. Why is the half suite of armor on the display? Oh, they sold some pieces. Oh my god. Why are all the paintings of the wall? Oh, they sell as well. Oh my god. Uh, tell me more about the funeral. With soldiers, guards, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. Can I help you, my lord? My mother! Zelig, is it time for bed? Uh, I'm afraid I fell asleep while reading. Mother, it's me. Oh, my baby has returned. Your father will be so glad to see you. Your father. Your father. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the... the Funeral happened already. Has it? Oh, yes, I think it might have. I recall. No. Oh. That that was a dream, I think. That's weird. I, uh, I'm sorry. I don't know. She's crazy, or she don't know for real.
Check the bush. Yeah, I will do that. That will be great, man. Oh my god. I missed one book. How to go in this room? Uh, uh, this is a secret door. My cousin Lucas, see. Okay, I think in this room I can come later. room two portraits of my mother the mother journal these things
I think crafting will be a thing as well in the game. Man, it will be amazing to read that. Because I really don't want to spoil everything. Because 100% I think I will play this game when it will come out. Something up there. Oh man, you owe me a debt and I intend to collect it in a week hand. Ah. Interesting. Examine the papers. Look at the maps. Financial details. Demanding payment. Very weird. A lot of secrets. Uh, oh, need to put a key here. Oh my god. I think my father was a necromancer, man. He still used to be.
His ship should be back any day now. Oh, why must he stay away for so long? Who, father? Any day now. Any day. Men, they have a tone of secrets. White cat sat here watching me suspiciously. Oh. This was where my father was found. I don't recall my father being a whiskey drinker. I spotted a small key. Hmm. Yeah, something was not adding up and I wanted to know what. Hearing a weapon openly in the city. Oh, it's not a low. Wait a second. Okay. It is you! Oh, I saw the carriage pull up and hoped! D3, my childhood friend! It is good to see you! How are you? Uh, well, yes, of, of course. The funeral. Terrible thing. I was at it. Shame you weren't. You would have liked. Well, uh, yes. Uh, you old fool, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Here I am years after seeing you and I'm no different. Foot wow. and mouth, first opportunity. Educated trust increased and worker trust increased. Wow. I'm looking for short-term work. Well, there are plenty of offerings about the place. I'm sure you'll find something. Okay. Look, meet me for a drink in Garnett's Tavern later, and we'll have a right proper catch-up. Uh... Sure, why not? Where is Garnet Tavern? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. You won't know her yet. Uh, she only bought it last year. It's the tavern on the other side of the river. Cross the bridge at the marketplace. Here, uh, I'll mark it on your map. Uh, 
Do you have any idea where I might find employment? Hmm. Try the docks, maybe? Or, uh, try over at the academy? There's a school there, and I think there are teachers short. There might be some work for a knowledgeable person such as you. Oh, yes. I saw a sign outside Garnett's this morning. Uh, take a look at that. It might be a job advert. Yeah, I'll mark them all on your map. Let's see the map. Notes to do. Wow. Wait, that's the journal. What is the map? Beautiful. This is where I am, right? Dockyards, market, north gate, man. Oh, no, no. This game will be great. Yeah, it's marked here, okay. Yeah, the graphic is very basic, but honestly, I really don't care. The bakery here. Talk with these guys? No. What's going on here? You don't talk about a man's wife like that. I said nothing. <laughs> oh, my face. Stop this. Stop this right now. What are you idiots doing? He said my wife. Tell me, do you see crates around you? The crates waiting to be loaded onto the boats? Well... Do you? It was rhetorical. I don't care why you're fighting. I care why you're fighting on my time. Your silence deafens me. God's what I'd give for a competent worker. Back to work, all of you! Expect today's wages to be short to cover my loss of earnings from this idiocy. Ramon. Hello there. That was an unfortunate incident. Hello to you too. I am Ramon. <clears throat> what was all that about? Uh, well, Darius says I spoke ill of his wife, but he lies. The man is not even married. Uh, then why? Will he say such a thing? 
Why attack you? He is a Persian, and I am Venetian. He turned on me so the others would take him into their fold. It is a stupid and selfish plan. Uh, where do I find a horrible master? What's he is plan? in his office, and today I would not disturb him. For our fighting has made him angry. Will you bring me to him? I wish to ask him about work on the harbor. My friend, I cannot go anywhere right now. Darius split my lip and loosened the tooth. I can barely stand his shouting when my head does not ache. I don't want that. I have few friends right now. So, yes, I would repay your kindness. There is an apothecary near the marketplace, over this side of the river. Thank you. Basically... Apothecary... I prefer to go at the academy. Whoa, watch out! Heavy crates being stacked! Sorry? Excuse me. Well, the old man Gerhard Toman runs the place, but I order the lads around day to day. Harbour Master, he's here. Get out of my way, you fool. This what ain't a place for gawkers. Oh, rude, girl. Uh, can I go on the other side? Good day! Good afternoon. It was locked, okay. Want to buy. Uh, how to sell? <clears throat> Aha. Aha!
Uh, something to buy? I don't know, it's something from... These things will be useful. Anyway, I made 12 crowns. The higher here. Okay guys, I need to go now, I will play more of this game, I like it, I like the, 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 the story, you know, the graphic is very basic, but I think it's very early in development, but uh, from what I played until now, I really want to play more, this is the feeling, you know, and when one game uh, let you with this feeling, that's a good sign, that's a good thing. If the game after one hour make you to play more, that means you enjoy it. Honestly. The story so far is very good. I'm very excited to see what's happened next. What, what's happened with my father? Why the mother is crazy, or she play crazy? Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of intrigue, a lot of uh, unanswered questions have uh, after that narrative story from the beginning, which was amazing, and that narrator voice acting was great as well. Anyway. Let me know in the comment below what you think about uh, about this game. Like, subscribe if you enjoy the content. And see you next time. Bye!